What is up you guys? It's Katya Volks. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to freaking part 17 of the Lions Pack taste test. So if you're new, go check out the playlist. I'll put the card above so if you guys want to see all the other reviews I've given regarding the Lions Choice Lions Pack. They've switched their name back and forth of their cookie doughs. These are freaking amazing. They are 100% vegan. They have gluten-free options, but they are just raw cookie doughs that you can also bake, but let's just be honest. We all want to just eat it out of the jar. So yes, but before we get started, don't forget to subscribe. And if you like this shirt, how dope is this? Okay, my best friend is an artist. She's a photographer and she made this like her own photo that she's taken. There's plenty others, but her business is called Develop Feelings. So I'll put the little Instagram handle up above. So go check them out, support small businesses, especially during COVID because there's a lot of us who are still trying to keep our bills paid, you know? Don't get me wrong. Your girl's in that same trouble. But anyways, you know what's not troubling? Getting to taste cookie dust. So yeah, we've got four new flavors. I mean, they've been out for a while and it's been a hot minute since they've done a review and I know I have another review coming out pretty soon for you guys. But the ones we have today, we've got, this is another infusion by them, Dunkaroos. I've never actually tried Dunkaroos from what I'm aware of. They're like some Australian snack. I, it's like some cracker and it comes with like an icing that you dip it in, which sounds amazing. Then we've got Cinnamon Teddy Graham. Oh man, who doesn't love Teddy Grahams? Those were like my joy when I was a kid. We've got French Toast Crunch. So I'm guesstimating that there's gonna be some little crunchy French toasty kind of pieces. Don't know what to expect for that one. And then one of their no new keto. So it's a keto friendly cookie dough. And of course I'll go through the macros while I'm trying it as well. But this one is Maui Brownie. So from the looks of it, maybe it has some macadamia in it. So I'm just stoked to try it. So I'm gonna weigh out a little bit of each and then we are gonna taste test them. All right, so I got all the flavors laid out right here. So hopefully you can see them pretty well. So I think I'm just gonna go my right to left and start with the Dunkaroos because boy, does this look good. You can see all like the little specks of the jimmies, the sprinkles, whatever you call them in there. And so this is for the two tablespoon servings, 100 calories, 3.5 fat, 14 carb, and four protein. Oh my gosh, here's a nice chunk of it. It smells like icing. I don't know how to describe it, it's so good. Mmm. Mmm. Wow. The best way to describe the taste is like a sugar cookie with sprinkles on it. Delicious, yes. Definitely like just sugar cookie, super soft on the tongue. And yeah, so apparently these are bakeable, but am I gonna be taking time to bake them? No, because I'll be too busy eating it straight out of the jar because that is delicious. Now I'm anticipating these two to taste kind of similar since one is like cinnamon French toast, one is cinnamon Teddy Graham. So starting with the cinnamon Teddy Graham, also 100 calories, four fat, 13 carb, and four protein. So you can even see little chunks in there. Hopefully you can see that, cool beans. It smells nice and cinnamony. Mmm. Mmm. That is nice. Not overwhelming not too strong or pungent in the cinnamon because I feel like cinnamon is one of those spices that can easily be very overpowering in recipes. But that is just perfect. You get that taste of it being crackery from the graham cracker. So it's a nice mix. Oh my gosh, delicious. Mm, love it. All right, French toast crunch. 100 calories, 3.5 fat, four carb, four protein. Ooh, and you can see like the chunks in there as well. So, pretty cool. Excited to try it as usual. It's rare for me to not like a flavor of theirs. Mm. Some have been overpowering more than others, but you'll have to check out those other reviews to see which ones I say go for. Also, if you wanna try these themselves, you can use my coupon code. It saves you 15% and it supports your girl. So, here we go. 
Mmm. Mmm. Different. There's almost, oh my gosh, that's wild. There's almost like a flavor of like a maple syrup coming through just like what you probably would put on your French toast. There's like a buttery richness, maple syrupy. So definitely different from what I anticipated it to be like compared to the Graham, the cinnamon Teddy Graham because I thought they were gonna taste quite similar, but no, it is like a flavor of its own and definitely very resemblant to French toast. Now the little crispy bits of it, I guess that's supposed to replicate if you have like crispy edges on your French toast. It doesn't come through quite like that, but I do like the textural difference that it adds to the cookie dough instead of just being like a super soft one. But if you like super soft, this is your bet. Mm. Now onto the keto. So this is 12 fat, seven carbs for protein. So they'll use versus these guys, like a wheat flour heat treated, of course, so that it's consumable. They'll use almond flour, as well as a sunflower canola oil blend and coconut flour. So yes, this does have pieces of macadamia nut, which is probably one of my most favorite nuts because I love white chocolate macadamia. So looks like that. There's like a slight grit to it. If you can see that well in the camera, well, it's helpful. It smells good though, very good. So, cause I remember them having like a textural difference from the almond and coconut flour. So let's see how this is. Mmm, mmm. Yo, mmm. The thing about it is I so don't mind that it has that almond flour, coconut flour texture to it. Cause boy that combination of chocolate and macadamia nut goes so well together. Of course, if you don't like macadamia nut, then you don't have to get that flavor. But for those who do like those, oh my gosh, that is so delicious. Wow. I mean, I've been enjoying so far the Keto's because regardless of that odd texture, if you absolutely don't like that texture of almond flour, just don't go for those, go for these guys as well. I mean, they're not as keto friendly, but they are still just as easily enjoyable if you are having some somewhat strict macros. So I'm gonna clean this real quick and then we'll go over which are my favorites. All right, my friends. So we are wrapping it up at this review just to tell you which one was my favorite. Now I will say, gosh, they are all so freaking good. But the Dunkaroos, me having a sweet tooth and loving that taste of sweet icing, I have to say this. Now it's not gonna be the favorite for everyone because sometimes people don't like having icing, too much icing on a cake. I'm that person who'd always want the corner piece with all the icing on it. That's what this best reminds me of. So that might be a little too sweet for some people. So if you are one of those people, I would absolutely say go for the Teddy Graham. This one is not quite as sweet, not crazy overpowering with the cinnamon, but just as freaking delicious. Third place, I think I would put the keto because I really like the chocolate and macadamia nut combination. I did very much enjoy the French toast crunch. I will say that maple flavor that was coming through did almost have a slight bakiness to the flavor. So I wasn't super fond of that. Like I'll definitely finish up this tub because it was still very good. But if I'm gonna return to buy one or two flavors from what I have here, I'm definitely gonna opt for one of these three. But that doesn't dismiss that this was delicious. So of course, if you wanna go give it a try, use my coupon code, saves 15% off. So yes, but if you enjoyed this video, enjoy this review, do give this video a nice big thumbs up. Let me know down in the comment section below what video you'd like to see next, whether it be a workout video. I know it's been a hot minute since we've done one of those. Gyms are starting to open back up. Thank you, Lord. Um, otherwise, next we have protein powder review. So stay tuned for that. Don't forget to subscribe. Give this video a nice big thumbs up. And I love you all. Stay safe. Stay healthy. Get those gains. Go check out Develop Feelings. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.